I want to just go back to uh, someone who knew him very well, certainly in his younger years and uh, was a lecturer of uh, Tito Mbaweni, a close friend, I understand. I would like to thank Professor Sohai Santo, who's uh, made some time for us this morning. He joins me via Zoom uh, this morning. Professor, good morning, and I appreciate your time. Of course, my condolences on the loss of your friend. I would like to start here. Your, your memory, your first memory of Tito Mbaweni, how do you Recall him, Professor. Good morning. Morning, Gareth. Can you hear me? Gareth, I can, can Prof. you hear me? Good morning, yes, go ahead. How do you remember your friend? Thank you, Thank you very much. Well, look, uh, I encountered Tito in 1983 when he came, when I came back from postgraduate studies and started lecturing at the National University of Lesotho, 83-84, uh, he was already an active and well-known student. Uh, then I took him on a course uh, in 1984-85 on the political economy of Southern Africa. <clears throat> and that's when I engaged very closely with, with, with Tito Mboweni and came to know him much, much better. One, he was brilliant. He was academically brilliant, talented. Two, he was, he had a lot of Ubuntu, you know, he respected people. And three, because we were almost the same age, almost the same age, I was slightly older, I think, he could see that what he aspired to become is possible. Because here is this youngish fellow teaching him.